winter time out here. Good lord. We're kind of weather winds out here in California. So it looks like we got about 50 people here. Occupy News Network for uh, restreaming this broadcast. Thanks a lot. Any, uh, we're all allies around the world trying to get the real, the news that never gets covered. Uh, that's one of the reasons I started live streaming. California at the X Bank of America building here in beautiful San Francisco. Uh, this is your live streamer, Freeman and Sullivan, and we're out here to boycott Donald Trump uh, as he refuses to negotiate with restaurant workers in Las Vegas. So we're asking you uh, to boycott all Trump's businesses uh, the, in protest for this because you know we all know what a flim flam man Donald Trump really is. You know, 
you're listed as a mod there, Occupy Carlisle. I don't know why you're not. I don't know why that is. I'll have to check when I get home. California, though, is a blue state, so, uh, you know, don't feel obligated to vote for Hillary Clinton if you don't want Trump to be president. You can vote for Jill Stein, who I support, even though I think the Green Party is a big mess here in the United States, uh, but I would vote for her. Uh, Gary Johnson, he's another idiot. The guy can't even remember the names of world leaders, so what makes you think he's qualified to be president? He's been smoking too much of that herb. Trump is a Nazi. He's a lot of things, but he's no friend to you, let me tell you. He's a rip-off artist. How do you think he got his money? He didn't get his money by his business acumen. He got his money by ripping people off. That's his whole business model. Plot out lots of money. Uh, hire lots of people and then don't pay them. So boycott all his businesses, but most of all, boycott Donald Trump in this election. He's a fascist, and we don't know what kind of road that this man is going to take us down. Probably, the, you know, I'm not going to say Hillary Clinton is any better, you know, but Hillary is, you know, she has a record that we could go and see. And I'm not saying you should vote for her either because I think she stinks too. You know, this is the most dismal presidential election. You know, and I've, I've been around since I remember the 1968 election, right? That's, that was, I was eight years old. That's what I remember. And this is the most dismal election I feel in, in uh, you know, American, you know, 20th, 21st century history. You know, and if 
If anybody asks, I tell them, don't blame me, I voted for Bernie. Even though I really don't believe in voting. You know, it's like... Excuse me. This whole election, uh, especially the uh, Hillary versus Bernie, uh, you know, it was rigged from the very get-go. Bernie Sanders really didn't stand a chance. But, and I always advise activists, you know, if you're an organizer, you know, don't get wrapped up in, in organizing for presidential politics because ultimately your vote doesn't really count and nothing really changes and you're better off organizing around single issues and being determined and it does so that way you don't have to you know you're not throwing away your resources by people who are ultimately going to desert you when you really need it because years ago I voted for Obama the first election and he totally abandoned his political base like within weeks of getting into office so he, he was a big disappointment and he still continues to be a big disappointment about the only thing about Obama that you can really say positive is that he was never directly connected to, with any kind of uh, scandal you know he can't he, he totally like uh, dismissed all his campaign promises so that was that was Obama. I got burned by him. I'll never organize for a political candidate again. You know, and I'm an anarchist. I should know better. And, uh, I should say the union that organized this protest local to unite here is one of the largest unions in San Francisco because we have a huge tourism industry so local two is out there and uh, you know if you get a job working in a restaurant or a hotel uh, San Francisco is a big hotel town and restaurant city and uh, chances are you'll be running into one of these people that'll be serving your meal or taking care of your hotel so remember that when you come to San Francisco and uh, when we were having our Occupy meetings uh, in San Francisco, we used to have a group called Occupy SF Action Council. Uh, the local two, their union hall, they were kind enough to provide us with a space to meet every Sunday. So uh, we go back with local two a long way. And when I heard that they were organizing this protest, I uh, made sure that I was here. You don't like Donald Trump either, right? Good man. And then we have our Ursatz Trump. And uh, we're down here. This is 555 California. I was the second tallest building in San Francisco.
stupid. <laughs> no, come on. We all make mistakes. It's part of life. How would you know you were doing well if you didn't make mistakes? You have to have a baseline. Anyway, we're out here. Uh, we're asking people to boycott Trump businesses, anything that he owns, and uh, especially don't vote for Donald Trump. You know, you don't have to vote for Hillary Clinton, but you can make a decision not to vote for Donald Trump. He's a racist, he's a fascist, he's a sexist, he's a homophobe, he's xenophobe. I mean, this man has all the mental illnesses packed up into one body. And he talks, well, for a while there, he was talking a good game, but after uh, Monday's debate, we can all see that he's really nothing, and he's just a bully. And I absolutely can, can't stand bullies myself. When you come to San Francisco, most of these people in the picket line work at the hotels that you stay in. So uh, when you do come here, support Union Hotels. That means no Hyatt. They're very much anti-Union. So if you come here, don't stay in a Hyatt hotel. Please stay in a Union Hotel where the workers are getting paid fair wages and benefits. Yeah, we have too many people working for minimum wage in this country. Minimum wage was never meant to be a prevailing wage. It was meant to be the minimum wage that somebody was supposed to be paid. And naturally, capitalists, you know, they take and screw, you know, they, they twist everything in order to make another dollar, right? We're destroying the planet to make dollars. Anyway, I want to give a shout out in solidarity with all the water protectors up in North Dakota. I happen to be watching the uh, Unicorn Riot. Uh, and another gentleman also had a YouTube video up. Uh, on uh, it was a Facebook too. And where the uh, 
the North Dakota police were actually pointing shotguns, loaded shotguns, at demonstrators in North Dakota. So if you want to check that out, that's hashtag no DAPL. And you can find out more information about what's going on in North Dakota. There's also a shout out in support for all the people down in Elkhorn last night protesting for Alfred Olando, who was murdered by Elkhorn police for supposedly pointing a vape pen, a vapor pen, you should like that untold Carlisle, uh, at the police and they shot him and killed him. And also for all the people in Charlotte, uh, I, have, I wish I was there to live stream, uh, but we had people out there live streaming so, you know, I don't, I don't have to, I'm not like, I'm not like Tim Cast, Tim Pool, where I got to run to every hot spot so I can be the super duper uh, live streamer, right? You know, you know, I'm just a humble guy, and I'm trying to do what I can to contribute to the movement. This is a peaceful protest. Uh, the cops did come by, but uh, they left. And generally, as long as you're not uh, protesting police violence, the cops will pretty much leave you alone. Funny that, eh? Yeah, Jill Stein, I actually uh, got a chance to speak with her. Uh, when she was campaigning in Berkeley, and I got to say that uh, out of all the candidates running, uh, she's the uh, you know the most intelligent and probably the person that would make the best president. And again, since California is a solidly blue state, uh, they haven't voted Republican since I believe it was uh, 1956 for Dwight. Uh, well, no, I think they voted for Nixon too, Nixon or Reagan. But Anyway, right now, it's a solidly blue state, so if you want to vote for Jill Stein, go ahead. Don't, we don't feel like we're uh, obligated to vote for Hillary and voting for the lesser of the two evils. Sorry about that, I'm getting, I have to shout over the... Anyway, folks, I've been uh, trying to get out a little bit more. Um, I had a lot of difficulties, mobility difficulties, but I've been gritting my teeth through all the pain and uh, trying to exercise a little bit more. 